Okay, we've waited the 125 iterations for the solution to get to the end. And now we can uh, go and look at some results. So we uh, go to solution branch and look at the total deformation. And maybe we also put in a uh, probe on the joint to look at this translational joint and plot the force that was uh, Yes, the total force in the x direction of the joint. So if we evaluate those results, we can now um, play the 16 frames. And we can um, plot the joint force. So there's a uh, force profile that um, is negative when it's uh, pushing the jaws open and then it gets to some small value while it slides and then it gets to a uh, large positive value while it pulls forward into the into the final position. Um, if we want more resolution in this force profile, then we would go to the analysis settings and instead of asking for a minimum of 10, we could ask for a minimum of 100. And it would take more time, but we would get more points on this um, joint, uh, joint probe result. Uh, we could certainly also look at the uh, equivalent stress on all the parts. Maybe the stress is most interesting like here when the jaws are open. So we can retrieve that particular result and uh, look at where the stress is. also do a large amount of mesh refinement and get a better estimate of the stress. This is a very coarse mesh, but it was sufficient to get started. So that is a good place to stop the video.